And we just want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bang. We want to welcome all those that have joined us by audio and video. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo y bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchan por audio y video. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. You know, I tell you that every time. You got to prepare yourselves to receive. You have something, okay? If you want to receive, all you have to do is prepare yourself to receive what God has for you. Amen? Yeah. You say, well, that was good for my neighbor. That was good for somebody else. No, that was good for you. What about you? Amen? Yeah. I've told you this so many times. When you look in the mirror, <laughs> I got to deal with this person in front of me, not the world. Right. Amen? I got to prepare myself. Amen. So God can use me. So he can use me. I want to be used. I don't know about you, but I want to be used. Amen. So allow the word of God to bless you, change you. Amen. And he wants to do this. Amen. So we just got to be able to allow it to come and receive it and do something about it. Amen. So we're going to continue with closing out the old year with the new year. Amen. Open it, closing out the old year with the bang excitement and opening a new one with the same thing Amen. with the right attitude with the uh, um, oh, just exciting for yeah. the Lord Amen. Amen you make it if you want somebody else to receive how are you going to pass it on to them if you're sad and then doom and gloom you know yeah. so be excited Amen because God wants to use you more and more Lord use me more this coming year okay so make yourself available when we talked about this He's not looking for the perfect person. He's looking for an available person. Yeah. Are you available for him to use you? Amen. So yeah. praise God. He is ready for you. And we have to be ready for him. Yeah. And I'm excited. I don't know about you. If you're not excited, get excited. Mm -hmm. Amen. Give your frown yeah. a break. Yeah. Amen. Put a smile on your face. <laughs> Amen. You draw more people that way. Yeah. So anyway, before uh, anything else, child of God, grab your Bible. Yes. And we're going to see it like we mean it, church. Amen. Yeah. Here we go. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be talking the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. I don't want to be the same. I want to change. You know, every time, every day, you change yourself. And you want to present yourself different all the time. Yeah. What about the God? Yeah. Prepare yourselves, amen. Because the world is going to try to atta uh, 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 attach itself to you, so you got to clean it out. Last week, yes. we talked about giving yourself spiritual baths every time, get in the word, study the word, and go out into the world and bless somebody, amen. Yes. Praise God! So, God is good. I don't know yes, about you, is. but God is good. <laughs> He's not the one that's taking timeouts. We're the one that take timeouts. No. We're the ones that sit and do nothing. Okay? Don't be a part-time Christian demanding full services of a full-time God. Amen? We got to do our share. He's done his part. And the Bible says he, he, he was lifted up and set at the right hand of God. And he says, that's the place of authority. And that's where he's praying for us, interceding for us. Now, we got to do our part. Get busy for God. Amen? <laughs> Come on now. You still love pastor? Yeah. <laughs> so he's talking about closing out the old and opening the new, part two. You cannot start a new chapter of your life if you keep repeating or rereading the last one. And we do that all the time. We do that on a daily basis. You know, what we forgot, what we failed, what we don't have. Well, you know what? The Bible says you can do all things through Christ. And you got to prepare yourself to what's coming. And don't, we, we talked about putting on the full armor of God. If you notice, the full armor of God, everything is to the front because uh -huh. we're pressing on. Yes. There's nothing in the back. <laughs> he, didn't told, he didn't tell us to retreat. He didn't tell us to uh, turn around and go back. He didn't right. tell us to quit. You know how many opportunities Jesus had to quit? Mm -hmm. I'm sure as a man, he had lots of opportunities. Yeah. But he went to God and said, Father, I need your strength. Father, I need you now more than ever. Especially when they went to beat him up uh -huh. and put stripes on his back and nail him to a cross. Mm -hmm. That's how much he loved you. He says, I need your strength, Lord. We need his strength on a daily basis amen. before you leave your, your house. Amen. And uh, forgetting the, uh, what's behind, forgetting the past, the yesterdays. And rejoicing and be glad in a new day. Yes. And of course, Psalms 118 says, 
1 18 24 says this is the day the lord has made uh -huh. who made this for you he, he made it for you yes, amen but he said he, he wants us to rejoice and be glad in uh -huh. so why are you still so sad uh -huh. why are you so doom and gloom mm. Mm. rejoice and be glad yes. in the new day he's given you yes. now don't worry about the circumstances don't worry about whatever is happening this is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice, be glad in it. Press on and looking forward to what's coming or what's yeah. next. I'm excited about the new year. I don't know about you. Amen. Amen. But be happy. Amen. And, and our text is up here on the, on the screen. Those of you that are watching by video and those of you that are listening, I'll read it to you. Philippians chapter 3, verses 12 through 14 says, mm -hmm. Not that I have already obtained all this, or have already arrived at my goal, but I press, I, it says I, scratch yeah. it, I, and put your name there. Yeah. And you, you press, mm -hmm. it says, I press on to take hold of what, mm -hmm. uh, that for which God, uh, Christ Jesus uh, took hold of me. Mm -hmm. And 13 says, brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, mm -hmm. <laughs> this is it. One thing I do, mm -hmm. again, Scratch your eye and put your name there. Yeah. Personalize your Bible. It says forgetting what is behind. Forgetting the past. Okay. Straighten <coughs> forward to what is ahead. I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Okay. So I have something to do. Mm -hmm. I need to forget the past. Mm -hmm. And some, some of us are still prisoners of our past. Mm -hmm. And we got to let it go. Um... Keep going, Carmen. This is the NIV version. Step out of faith. Mm -hmm. It says we walk by faith, not by sight. It says faith is the courage mm -hmm. to let go and let God have control. Yeah. Or get off the throne and put God on there. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're, when you're full of faith, <laughs> you're going to step off the throne and put God on the throne. Yes. When you are full of faith... That means you've been in the Word, and you're full of the Word, and all this fear has got to come out. Keep going. Yeah. Keep going. There we go. <laughs> no. Those of you that are watching, this is good. I hope you watch this. Those of you that are listening, never be a prisoner of what? Your past. Yesterday's. Amen? Never be a prisoner of your past. It was just to listen not a life sentence mm -hmm. and some of us are still camped out in the past yeah god can't do anything unless you let it go that's right amen you know when he says when you confess your sins he is faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and cleanse you of all unrighteousness mm -hmm. he forgives and forgets but you're still in the past mm -hmm. and the enemy is going to see to it that you stay there the enemy is going to use people mm -hmm. family to remind you to keep yeah. you there oh, yeah. but don't allow yourself to be yeah. held down <laughs> amen said wait a minute <laughs> i'm forgiven mm -hmm. you know jesus dropped all the charges yes, he did. amen but people the enemy devil is going to hold it against you say mm -hmm. my charges have been dropped jesus dropped my charges mm -hmm. so forget it you know delete it don't go there anymore That's amen right. we're pressing on with him Woo, hallelujah yeah. keep going there's another there we go Never be defined by your past. It was just a lesson, not a life sentence. Yeah. Okay. And people, <laughs> family, I've got family, I don't know about you, but I got family, always reminded me, reminded me what a failure. Mm. You didn't amount to anything. You're nobody. You're no good. You'll never live up to whatever. And we're talking about family. Mm. But the enemy's going to see to it that he'll find somebody that's probably <laughs> let you know. <laughs> You're no good. You're nobody. Yeah. And guess what? God can't use you because you ain't smart enough. You ain't good enough. No, he says, for God so loved the world. the world. And he came. He sacrificed his only begotten son. Mm -hmm. That whoever believeth in him should not perish, but what? Have everlasting life. He died for you. He died for me. Yes, so let's get it right. So the enemy can't use that against you anymore. Mm -hmm. Keep going, man. These are good. Come on, he says, <laughs> break out of prison of your past. So where's your, where's your prison? It's the past. You still got you down. Mm -hmm. And why are you allowing yourself to stay there? You got to get out. Say, yeah. wait a minute. He's already forgiven me. Yeah. All this is gone. Mm -hmm. I'm just getting out. I'm stepping out in faith. I'm stepping out 
is this is what he gave you. Mm -hmm. He gave you authority. Yes, he did. So use your authority. I'm a child of God. Satan, he says, if you submit yourself to God, resist the devil, he'll flee from you. Yeah. Amen. So we need to use that authority and step out of the prison of your past yes. and press on. You know, <laughs> some of you, somebody watching, somebody listening, you've been there too long now. Mm -hmm. Amen. We drink ourselves till we can't drink anymore. Mm -hmm. We we just keep reminding ourselves, and you know what? The enemy is going to see you and keep you there forever. Mm -hmm. Let go to past. Start a new day with him. He says, mm -hmm. this is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice, be glad in it. Yeah. Amen. And this is for you. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is say, Lord, I sin against you. I repent. I repent. Mm -hmm. I confess every sin and start a new day with you. You don't have to be held down anymore. That's right. Amen. So, yeah. here we go. Forgetting the past. Let go of the past. Sins, failures, setbacks, mm -hmm. cares, anxieties, worries, lacks. Yeah. <laughs> bad habits, negative attitudes, whatever you want to call it, whatever it is, yours might be different than mine. Of course it is. But still, let it go. Yeah. Forgetting yesterday's past, it's gone. Mm -hmm. Live for today. Tomorrow, mañana never comes. Why? Because mañana is today. <laughs> I do it mañana. Well, when mañana comes, it's mm -hmm. today. Today, I'm on. We're gonna do it today. Amen. Mm -hmm. Things to clean. What what things do I need to change or clean? Well, we need to renew our mind. He says, renew your mind with the Word of God. Okay? Because the world is going to fill you with negative things. Yeah. You're going to fill yourself with negative things because you're accepting what they're putting out. All the garbage they're putting out. you you, you got to take the Word of God and renew your mind to think the way He wants you to think. To see yourself the way He wants you to see yourself. A winner, a champion, an overcomer. Yeah. That's the way He sees you. And you, you, you have to accept that. This is what he's, he's talking about you. He's not talking about somebody else. Well, yeah, brother or sister, so and so. I mean, they're high and mighty. No, he's talking about you. Uh -huh. Amen. You. Give yourself a spiritual bath. Mm -hmm. Clean everything that tries to attach itself to you. Mm -hmm. Don't let it. Lord, clean us. Don't let, don't take back what is detached from you. That's right. <laughs> let it go. Amen. Let it go. He has forgiven us and forgotten us. Forgotten about it. So don't let it. Don't hold on to it. Let it go. Stop remembering what God. Listen. <laughs> you need to write this down. Okay. Stop remembering what God has already forgiven and forgotten. Amen. It's very, very simple. He's forgiven and forgotten it. So why are you still holding it? Why are you still remembering it? Let it go. It's time to press on and start a new day. Amen. This is the day he has made it. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. As far as the east is from the west. Well, uh, Psalms 1, 103, 12 says, As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions, our sins from us. Yes. That's infinite. Mm -hmm. That's forever. You'll not, you'll not bring it up again. That's right. Except you and the enemy and people will bring it up to you. You know, people that are jealous mm -hmm. and they see you making a change <laughs> and they'll come and they'll try to stop you, distract you. Oh, and yeah. say, you know, hey, we used to go out all the time. We used to do this. We used to do that. Mm -hmm. So why can't we hang, hang out anymore? Well, <laughs> mm -hmm. I got new friends. I got new company. Mm -hmm. And uh, God has removed you from my life. Yeah. And I'm pressing on. Or you could come and accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. You can be a witness yeah. to him. Your testimony yeah. will release him as well. Yeah. He says they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. testimony. Some of us, well, all of us have an awesome testimony yeah. that God wants us to use to release somebody from their bondage. Amen. Mm -hmm. As far as the is from the West, that's infinite. Infinite yeah. is endless. Yes. Amen. So, hallelujah. So closing out 220. Wow. And opening up 221. 2021. Woo! 2021. <laughs> with what? With new opportunities, with new assignments, with new beginnings. Yeah. Then, that's what I'm looking forward to. Mm -hmm. New yes. new new opportunities with him. 
Amen. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. A fresh start. Amen. On things that we can accomplish on our personally, spiritually uh, stronger commitment to be with Him, to our church, in serving. Yes. Don't let the enemy, people, distractions, or anything, excuses hold you back. Yes. They've been holding you back too long. You're still a prisoner. Mm -hmm. It's time you get that word out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. And you're not a prisoner anymore. Mm -hmm. You've been released. And you, the door is open. And you're still behind. Mm -hmm. you got to step out of that prison. Uh -huh. And step out with faith. And do what God has called you to do. He's got a calling in your life. Mm -hmm. You just haven't answered yet. Mm -hmm. It's time that you answer. The door is open. You've been released. It's time you, you leave prison mm -hmm. and step out in faith and yeah. do what God has called you to do. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Come on now. Forgetting the past and pressing on daily yeah. with Him. Yeah. Amen. <clears throat> so we all have an imperfect past. Mm -hmm. We have all imperfect past of sin, fault that we may be ashamed of, wish we hadn't done, wish no one knew about. Mm -hmm. We must forget them and press on. I can't say it enough. <laughs> Yours is a little different than mine, but guess what? We're not happy about it, mm -hmm. but it's time to move on. Yeah. Regardless of what the enemy says, regardless of what people say, right. hey, you know what? That was the old me. I'm a new me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Second Corinthians 5, 20, uh, 21 says what? Mm -hmm. yeah. The new is in, the, 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 uh -huh. the, 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 uh, the the old is out. The old is out. The new is in. The old is out. And we have to remember that. The old is gone. The old you is gone. The new yeah. you is in. And you're going to step out with him. Let's remember that. 2 yeah. Corinthians 5, uh, 5 uh, 17. Go there and read it. Amen. I think you uh, one through. Uh, just, 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 just go through uh, uh, verse 21. Read the whole thing. You're yeah. a new creature. Guess what? You're now a minister of reconciliation. Yes. You're an, an ambassador for God. You're His voice here on earth. Mm -hmm. That's how blessed, that's how special you are. Yes. But read the whole thing. Mm -hmm. uh, 2 Corinthians 5, chapter, uh, I mean, it's verses uh, 17 through 21. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Don't be a slave of your past. Paul said, I've done the worst. Wow. Sounds familiar? Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've all said it. I've done the worst. Yes. And we disqualify ourselves from what God has already qualified us to do. Yes. And we keep hearing and we want the world to qualify us. But God said, I have already qualified you. If he's qualified you, forget about the world. Amen. Be God pleaser, not a man pleaser, not a world pleaser. Amen. Mm -hmm. Paul says, I've done the worst. You may have done the worst, but still. We serve a living God. We serve a forgiving God. Yes. And we serve a forgetting God. Remember that. Yes. <laughs> There's no way I could ever be used of God. We've all said that. Mm. Ain't no way God can use me now. Mm. But you read about all the Bible heroes yes. in the Bible. I don't know if you have. We, we need to teach about that again. But all the Bible heroes you hear about were imperfect. Mm -hmm. Even King uh, David mm -hmm. and God and Jesus or God says he's after my heart he has a heart just like me mm -hmm. he's after my heart mm -hmm. but he committed sin mm -hmm. so all of us are not perfect okay mm -hmm. so let's remember that and don't let the enemy keep you down or hold you back right. anymore yeah. God's not looking for perfect sinless people mm -hmm. he's looking for available people yes. amen that's mm -hmm. us are you making yourself available mm -hmm. get off of the Get 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 out of your past. Get out of your prison cell yes. and step out That's and right. say, "Here am I, Lord, use yeah. me," because He wants to use you. Yes. He put you here to be used, yeah. and you're still holding back. Yeah. It's time to step out for Him to use you. I said, "Lord, I want to fulfill. I want to accomplish what You called me to do, uh -huh. and do it." And I'm doing this unto You. You know. We, 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 we compete against each other uh -huh. instead of complete one another. Yeah. Amen. Some of us may be doing bigger things 
Some of us may be called to do smaller things, but still do it under him. When you do it under him, you'll be pleased and you'll be happy because he's happy and he's pleased. But if you start doing it competition-wise, it's not good enough because you want to compete and do bigger things than somebody else. Yeah. Well, <laughs> there's somebody else is not <coughs> the enemy is coming to try to destroy. Yeah. Steal, kill, destroy, yeah. the Bible says. So he's looking for available people. Sin keeps Christians from fulfilling what God mm -hmm. has already called. You need to write this down. No, that's good. <laughs> Sin keeps Christians, believers, from fulfilling what God has already called and equipped them to do. God is equipped, has called and equipped you to do what he's, what, he, what he's called you to do. So we need to remember this. You need to write that down. Sin, kept, sin keeps believers from fulfilling what God has called and equipped them to do. That's you. You put your name there. Okay, where it says Christian or believer, put your name there. God keeps us. Or sin keeps us from fulfilling what God has already called yeah. and equipped us to do. Yeah. And listen, you can write this down too. Sin will take you further than you want to go. Oh, yeah. Keep you longer than you want to stay and cost you more than you want to pay just remember that this is sin <laughs> so i want to press on to greater things with him i want to press on with greater things with him stay in touch with him have this is called relationship have relationship with him all the time not just sometimes not just part time but all the time paul was an old man and sometimes we disqualify ourselves according to age-wise. Uh, well, I'm too young. I'm too old. Remember the little boy uh, <laughs> with the lunch yes. that God used? Mm -hmm. He used a lunch and he fed 5,000 plus. Mm -hmm. We're talking about families, children, yes. and he fed them. Mm -hmm. So he took little and multiplied it into big thing. Yes. He'll take whatever you bring yes. and he'll multiply it to bigger things yeah. and, 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 and the old man he says Paul was old man mm -hmm. so don't let age get in the way <laughs> amen big or small mm -hmm. don't let age or size doesn't matter right. let's remember this what matters is are you available uh -huh. be available be faithful be submitted and be committed yes this is what counts you know yes. hey you can be as old as you want to be you can still sit there and pray for somebody <laughs> That's right. Pray for the world. Pray for the U.S. We need all the prayer yes. we can get. Oh, yes. But you can be as old as you can be and still sit there and pray. Mm -hmm. Lord, put somebody in your heart and you pray for them. You're doing something. You know, you're going to meet them one day. You may not know meet them here in this world. Mm -hmm. But when you get up to heaven, mm -hmm. they'll walk up to you and say, because of your prayers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I survived. I made it home. Because of you, yeah. so that was that was. Uh, I think there was a story about uh, this man in uh, Australia <laughs> mm -hmm. that he just shared Jesus with these people and never, 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 never had any feedback. Mm -hmm. He just said, "Jesus loves you." Except Jesus, until the end when he was dying, gave him a track. and they, he gave him a track mm -hmm. when it, when it, when he was dying. They called him and they showed him. All these people that he had led to the Lord mm -hmm. came and let him know this is because of the seed that you yes. sowed. All these people came to Christ because of that seed, because of that track that you gave. Mm -hmm. I may not have, I may not see it in this world, but you'll see it in the other world, mm -hmm. and you'll see it when you're in heaven. Amen. Mm -hmm. So praise God. God is pleased, so you be pleased. Man, the world is never going to be pleased. Mm -hmm. No. So. This is what matters. <laughs> be available. Yes. Be faithful. Yes. Be submitted. Be committed. Amen. <laughs> Listen to this. Paul was on house arrest in Rome, awaiting to be executed. Still, he wrote two thirds of the New Testament. Yeah. And he wrote this letter to the Philippians. Instead of Paul retiring and worrying about, wow, I'm going to be executed. Mm -hmm. Okay? I don't know what you're facing, okay? Mm -hmm. I don't know what giants you're facing, but still, 
Greater is he that's in you yeah. than he that's in the world. Yeah. You have authority over these things to pull them down mm -hmm. and cast them out. Yeah. Instead of just letting them just defeat you. Yeah. You're defeated. Don't be a, 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 a defeated Christian. Right. Use that authority that's been given to you. Yeah. <laughs> here's, what he, here's, here's what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Refiring, stirring up, mm -hmm. and staying hot for God. Yeah. Amen. This is what we can do. And then on top of that, he says, press on. Mm -hmm. He says, press on. Forget the past. It's time to press on. Yeah. We're talking about an old man. <laughs> mm -hmm. And he's preaching this from his house arrest. Mm -hmm. So yes. we can do the same thing. You know, we, we let it uh, rain or we let it snow outside. I mean, it rain or snow outside. And, and we're we're arrest. We, we don't know what to do. <laughs> like, ruined your day. <laughs> Spoiled everything you had planned. <laughs> And we forget that you know what? Hey, whether I'm outside or I'm in here, yeah. I can still pray yes. and, and do what God has called me to do. Mm -hmm. I can call somebody. Mm -hmm. Man, we got technology now. Oh, we get on our cell phones. We got Facebook. Yeah. We got internet. We got all these things that we can reach somebody mm -hmm. and talk to somebody. Mm -hmm. Let's not just waste our time. That's it. Amen. Amen. We're called to do something. Yes. Press on every day. Daily for life, yeah. being stirred up, being staying hot, staying mm -hmm. focused, staying hungry uh -huh. for God. Yeah. Nobody can do this for you. That's you right. got to do it yourself. That's it. Amen. I'll tell you what, there's going to be some football games on today. <laughs> and I'm stirred up. I'm excited. You know, I dress funny. It's cold out there. I dress funny, you know, and I can go sit two or three hours in a freezing uh, snow. But I can't come to church, oh. or I can't call some. I can't call somebody and talk to them and let them know about right Christ. Now. Come on now, <laughs> I'm talking to somebody. <laughs> Storing ourselves up, no place and no room for lukewarm, easy, comfy, nice, unchanged, same kind of person. Oh, gee. come on, no room for it. Lukewarm, easy, comfy, nice, unchanged, the same. Hey. I got time for God tomorrow, you know, because uh, today's Sunday and there's a lot of games on. So <laughs> tomorrow, oh no, no, never mind. I can't do it tomorrow. I'll do it Tuesday because Monday they got Monday night game. So I'll do it Tuesday. <laughs> and then you remember, oh, there's something on Tuesday, something on Wednesday, something on Thursday, yeah. something on Friday. Oh yeah, thank God it's Friday. Maybe I'll do it Friday, okay? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Paul says, Philippians three thirteen. I press on. I says I. Scratch the I. Put your name there. Okay? I don't know how many times you need to hear this, but uh, scratch the I. It says mm. I press on. Yeah. A new day, a new month, a new year, a new job, mm. new assignment, new tasks, new opportunities, new beginnings. Mm. Amen? Uh -huh. <laughs> my, day, my daily Christian walk is this. Overcoming, overcoming giant cares, Giant problems, mm -hmm. giant anxieties, giant financial debts, no <laughs> giant storms of life, yeah. or whatever mm -hmm. you're battling. Mm -hmm. Yours may be different. I, maybe I didn't say it. Mm -hmm. But whatever giant you're, you're basing or, 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 or coming across, mm -hmm. All right. God has seen you through. Mm -hmm. All these things. Yeah. Amen. So don't hold yourself back. It's time to step out. Press on. Press on. Nobody can press on for you except yourself. That's right. You can sit all you want to, but it ain't gonna accomplish anything. Mm -hmm. Paul was determined to move on from his past mm -hmm. and to gain more of Christ. Mm -hmm. So can we. Yeah. Move on from your past. Let it go. It's history. Mm -hmm. Amen. Put some feet to your faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. Put some feet to your faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Yeah. Move on out of your comfort zone. Uh -huh. hey, move out of your little boat. Move out of your little box. You know, <laughs> hey, me in here just by myself. You know? <laughs> well, you got to step out. Mm -hmm. How is God going to use you if you're holding back? Yeah. He's not going to use you if all you do is hold back. That's right. It's time to step out. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to make a mistake. So mm -hmm. what? 
All these Bible heroes made mistakes. Mm -hmm. All these Bible heroes a sin. Mm -hmm. But God used them. Yes, Amen. But they stepped out. And we got to step out also. Yeah. Amen. We have to step out. <laughs> Man, this is good. Yeah. <laughs> the work, the goal is worth the effort. Yeah. What's our goal? Mm -hmm. Heaven is worth the effort. Yeah. Heaven is our goal. Amen. <laughs> effort is what? Determination, serving, our work, our power, our strength is worth our effort. Amen. Colossians, I'm going to read you a couple of scriptures and I'm going to read you a story and then we'll stop. And we're still not finished. <laughs> One of my favorite scriptures is Colossians 3, 23 and 24. New King James, I'll read it to you. Oh, thank you, Carmen. We talked about St. Corinthians 5.17. It says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. Mm -hmm. New creation has come. The old is gone. The new is in. Mm -hmm. See, this is a beautiful butterfly. Mm -hmm. But what was it? Before it was an ugly worm. Yeah. Then an ugly cocoon. What do you call it? A cocoon? Mm -hmm. Cocoon? Mm -hmm. And you know what? The past is gone. Mm -hmm. Butterfly has been born. Mm -hmm. You're that beautiful thing God has placed in this in this world. Mm -hmm. Do for Him. Yes. So see yourself the way He sees you. Yes. A winner, a champion. Amen. And the past is gone. The cocoon yeah. is gone. Yes. <laughs> the worm is gone. The butterfly has been mm -hmm. opened up. Yes. And that's what we need to do. We need to open up and do for Him. Ooh. I like that. Yeah. Keep going. Do not conform to the patterns of this world, but be what? Trans Transformed Transform. by the renewing of your mind. Yes. The world is going to try to keep you conformed uh -huh. to thinking their way and doing their way. Uh -huh. Okay? And you're a nobody. Yeah. You're a nobody. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. But you know, <laughs> the Word of God transforms us. Yes. But be transformed by renewing your mind yeah. and start thinking the way he wants you to think. Be thinking the way the word the word of God tells you to think. Uh -huh. And doing what it tells you to do. Yes. And what transform. Amen. Change. Keep going. That's Romans 12 too. Woo. Hallelujah. Be anxious for something. <laughs> okay. Another scripture I want to give you is Hebrews 6.10. Okay. Well, you know, God never. He, he never remembers what I do. Hebrews 16, mark that down. It says, God always does what is right. He will not forget the work you did to help the Christians. That's right. And the work you are still doing to help them. This shows your great love for Christ. Yeah. Hebrews 16. I was reading from the New Living Version. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to read you a story. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we'll close with this story. And uh, we'll pick it up from here next week. Amen. Mm -hmm. We're closing out a, the old year and we're going to be opening up a new year. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're closing out one day and we're opening up the new day. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let me read it to you and just bear with me. Those of you watching, those of you listening, listen. This is about a retiring carpenter. Amen. It's a story about the life we built for ourselves. Mm -hmm. But listen to this. An elderly cu uh, carpenter was due to retire. He told his employer, his boss, a contractor, of his plans to retire, to leave the business and start a life of leisure, a vacation with his wife and extended family. He would miss the money, but the time was right, and he was ready to hang up his hammer. <laughs> his boss was disappointed as the carpenter had been loyal, faithful, mm -hmm. trustworthy. Mm -hmm. Devoted, dependable, and diligent worker for many years. So he was sad to see him go. He asked for one last favor, requesting that the carpenter will build one last house before retiring. Mm -hmm. The house he says, it's for a special friend. It says, money, no object. Materials, no object. 
Design, no object. It says just do it and don't hold back. Okay? You get it? Mm -hmm. Okay? The elderly carpenter agreed, but his co-workers, his friends, mm -hmm. have had him, have fed him some wrong information. Mm -hmm. Dislike and jealousy. Mm -hmm. How dare he have you build another house when you're ready to retire? Mm -hmm. He don't care about you. Mm -hmm. Come on now, see yourself. The elderly uh, carpenter started working on the last project of his life. Since it was his last project, he worked half-hearted, unenthused, with an ungrateful heart. And he says, I've worked enough overtime, no more overtime. No more overtime. <laughs> So, he took shortcuts, used cheap, poor, uh, poor low-grade, and substandard materials to put in a half-hearted effort. And he put a half-hearted effort into it. In the end, the final product was well short of his excellent standards. A disappointing way to end his career, but pleasing to the world and pleasing to his friends. Mm. Come on now. Mm -hmm. I'm almost finished. The game hasn't started yet. <laughs> <laughs> when the job was finished, the employer, the contractor, his boss came and inspected the work. After taking a look around, he handed the keys to the carpenter and said, This is your house. It is my gift to you. Thank you for all the years you've been loyal. All the years you've been faithful. Receive your blessing. Receive your reward. Mm -hmm. The carpenter was shocked, embarrassed, and he says, If only I had known, I would have made sure that everything was perfect. Mm -hmm. If only I had obeyed, what the boss said. Mm -hmm. The boss says, this house is for a special friend. Mm -hmm. He says, money no object. Materials no object. Designs no object. Just do it. And don't hold back. Mm -hmm. If I had known the consequences, I would have demanded excellence from myself. Mm -hmm. Come on in. Mm -hmm. It's a hidden home. Mm. We're not that different. Yeah. We're going about our lives, our business, doing and working as we see fit. Just enough to get by mm. and please the world and please friends and please self. Some with passion, some with caring, mm -hmm. some with excellence, some with low standards, mm -hmm. some with diligence, some with, without effort. We are all in the process of building our lives. Mm -hmm. His help, but mostly self. Mm -hmm. If we're not happy with what we see, perhaps it's a direct consequences of what you've been building over the years. Mm -hmm. It says, build wisely, obey it his instructions. He's given us his instruction. He's given us his word to fulfill what he's called us to do and how to build ourselves when the world is trying to destroy us. When everything else is trying to destroy us. And he's given us the best materials to use and we're using cheap material. And we're listening to cheap lies. We're listening to the lies of the world, lies of people, and all these other things. And we could have had what he gave us. Mm -hmm. Amen. So he gave us his word. He gave his son. Mm -hmm. And he gave us his word. Yeah. His son is the word. Yeah. And we could have done a whole lot better and not just bystanders. Mm -hmm. Second best. Yeah. You know, we could have done a whole lot better. Yeah. 
But still, you know what? <laughs> Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his yeah. only begotten son. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, in return, what do we do? Mm -hmm. We give ourselves back to him. Mm -hmm. And say, Lord, here am I. You see. Amen. And he won't turn you down. So, if you're listening, <laughs> and you never accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, now is the time. Says, Lord, I repent. I've sinned against you. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. And you know what? If you confess that, we believe the Word of God says that you're born again. Yes. That you're a child of God. So make a change and start obeying what the Word of God says. Start open, Get you a Bible and start reading what the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. Amen? Because you can do all things through Christ. All things. And see yourself the way He sees you. A winner, a champion, yeah. an overcomer. Yeah. Amen? And now there, there's problems in the world, but guess what? You can overcome you're an yeah. overcomer. Amen. Because Christ did this for us. Amen. So see yourself that way. If, you, if you're hurting, whatever disease, whatever sickness attacking your body, the Bible says that by Jesus Christ you're healed. So place your hand on that body and wherever it hurts, whatever is going on, or just speak the word of God and says, by Jesus Christ I'm healed. Regardless of what your body says, yeah. the word of God is over that. Right. And the word of God says that by Jesus Christ you are healed. Mm -hmm. So body line up with the word of God. Receive your healing now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And you know what? Every time it comes back to you, that well, he didn't hear you. And you're still suffering. No, I'm confessing. I don't receive that. I receive yeah. his healing right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So praise God. So thank you, thank you, thank you. It blessed me. I don't know if it blessed you. Yes. If you're not, then it's time to get saved. <laughs> because if you're saved it's going to bless you yeah. amen so it's time to give those of you watching or listening that would like to give your tithe or your offerings now's the time you can still do that just go to our website it's on the screen nbcbigbin.com just hit that donate button amen praise God thank you and if you mail it at NBC PO Box 252 Marfa, Texas 79843 amen we just wanted to say Thank you. Yes. Amen. <laughs> praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Stretch your hands. Father, we just thank you for the opportunity to give, Lord.